25 years ago, I moved into this very house. Unknown to me at the time, I would come to meet one of the greatest men in my life. Someone who would come to mold and shape me to who I am today. That man was my neighbor, Mustafa Dadun, who sadly passed away three weeks ago. From the day I met this man as a boy, everything about him was special. He always spoke to me like I was an equal, like I was a grown-up, like I was someone of importance. He always led me to believe that I would grow one day to be something special, that I was no ordinary boy. I remember most mornings standing on this very driveway waiting for him to pick us up to school and he always met us with a smile on his face. This man was more than a neighbor. He was a father, he was a friend, he was an older brother. This man redefined to me what it meant to be religious, what it meant to be a Muslim. He embodied every praiseworthy quality into one man. This man worked three jobs just to provide for his family and yet still was the best husband I ever saw in my life who always showed love and affection towards his wife and his family. The best father I ever knew, always had time for his children, would joke and laugh and spend time with them. I remember once for one of his kids who felt like a pizza at like one in the morning, he drove half an hour just for that pizza to put a smile on his child's face. This man embodied the best of qualities Wallah, I am envious and I am thankful to Allah that I was able to live and meet and have such a man like this in my life. Towards the end of his life, even when he was in the hospital, still smiled, still managed to put a smile on everyone else's face, never complained about his illness, always in prayer, always thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I remember the day before he died, I was able to visit him and he had lost his ability to speech. And I came to him and I, and I stood in front of him and I said, do you know who I am? And he nodded. I said to him, are you making dua for me? He smiled and he nodded. I said, are you making shahada? And he raised his finger like this. I said, are you sure you're making it? He raised it again like this. Even a day before he died, he managed to make that moment so special. And I thank Allah that Allah allowed me to shake his hand and kiss it and look him in the eyes while he was in the hospital and tell him, thank you for everything you ever did for me. That I will never forget every moment I spent with you and every sacrifice you ever did to make my life that little bit better. I thank him so much and I ask Allah to give him no less than Firdaus Al-A'la. My brothers and sisters, every single one of us plays a role in this life. You are far more important than what you really think. Because every one of us is either a mother or a father or a neighbor or an employee or a worker. And somewhere out there, there's a young boy or a young girl that's looking up to you. What seed are you planting in people's hearts? What vibes do you put out? And more importantly, how will we be when we die? Will we be thanked or will we be forgotten? This man was no scholar. This man was no celebrity. But by Allah, one of the greatest men I ever met in my life. And I pray for him like I would pray for my father. This is a true Muslim.